Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and it's been a little while since I've done any videos on uh, macros from macromonster.com and eCut. But this particular one will do allow you to round off the corners. Now, you can do that inside a Corel Draw, but you don't have the option of doing the outside or the inside. It's going to do them both of an object. Now, this is the letter F. It's a font, but I've converted it to a curve and we're going to go right here and we're going to go flay, flay, flay curve and you can do all corners or let's just do the inside corners and my computer is a little slow this morning but as you can see it just did the inside corners I've actually quit using this computer, but since I have this macro on this computer. So let's just back up here and let's do the outside corners. I need to select it. Let's do the outside corners. And now I've got the outside corners rounded, but the inside corners are not. So this is pretty cool that you can do this uh, that you can't do in Corel Draw. Now let's do all corners. And now it did all corners. And you can do that inside of Corel Draw, but you can't pick. So this will also work on other things besides text. And let's just do this. I just drew this shape. And let's select this and go. We want just the inside corners rounded. I don't think you could even come close to this in Corel Draw. Anyway, so that's E-Cut by Monster Macro. Uh, pretty cheap, reasonable, high-powered program. And I love it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.